For this problem, we need to find all values of c for which these two vectors are linearly independent. So that basically means they can't be linearly dependent, which for only two vectors um, with two numbers each, that basically means they can't be multiples of each other. Um, but the formal way to go about finding this would be, or one of the formal ways, would be to put them into a matrix where they're the column vectors, and then we find the determinant of that matrix. Now, if the determinant is equal to zero, that means that they are linearly dependent. So we need to find um, the values of C for which the determinant is not zero. So I'm going to put them into a matrix. Um, and B1 and B2 will be the columns of that matrix. So 1, C, and minus 1, 2. All right, now let's find the determinant of this matrix. The determinant of that is going to be cross multiply. We, uh, 1 times 2 is 2. And we subtract C times minus 1, and that's minus C, so plus C. All right, that's our determinant. Now we wanted to look at um, values for which the determinant was equal to 0. So I'll set up that relation. 2 plus C equals 0. So the values of C we want to look at are when C is equal to minus 2. So what does that represent again? When C is equal to minus 2, the determinant of that matrix is equal to 0. And that means that the vectors are linearly dependent when C is equal to minus 2. Um, so to answer the question, um, the values of C for which the vectors are linearly independent is when C is not equal to minus 2. And this makes sense, right? Because if C is minus 2 in these two vectors, you can see that they're just um, minus 1 uh, multiplied by each other. They're just um, the same vector multiplied by a constant. So any other value besides that, we're good. C not equal to minus 2.